सो वॉट इज़ अ पीपल वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो ऑफ द सीरीज डॉकर कम्प्लीट कोर्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट डॉकर कमिट कमांड सो यूजिंग डॉकर कमिट कमांड यू कैन क्रिएट अ डॉकर इमेज और यू कैन बिल्ड अ डॉकर इमेज फ्राम योर एग्जिस्टिंग डॉकर कंटेनर सो लेट से इफ़ यू आर रनिंग अ डॉकर कंटेनर ऑलरेडी एंड यू आर यू आर इंटरेक्टिंग विद द डॉकर कंटेनर लेट से यू आर क्रिएटिंग सम फाइल्स और समथिंग यू आर इंस्टॉलिंग सम पैकेजेस सो but you want to save your work so then you can create or build your docker image using that existing container and you can use docker commit command for that so we will see the demo of this command and we will see how you can use docker commit command to build your images so let's get started so first let's go through what is docker commit command is we can how we can use docker commit command so it basically means when let's say you have a container you have a docker image let's say base image you know already about docker file in docker file we specify a base image right let's say from ubuntu right so in this let's say we are not specifying anything inside a declarative form or inside a docker file but here what we are doing is let's say we are creating or running a container directly so how we can run we run using docker run command right so let's say we run this command docker run and it i want an interactive terminal mode and it now i am adding the image name let's say ubuntu and i am going to open a shell inside it inside this container right so now let's say i am inside the container and now i have created a file let's say right so let's say i have created a index.js file or something or let's say i have installed node js as well or i have installed some npm or something right so i have done my work now i am exited from this container right so now i don't have any image now let's say i i want my work back or i want to save my work whatever i have done inside this specific container right so as you know container uh, containers are short lived right so you cannot save any container container will be removed after some time or uh, it can be removed also if you stop your docker desktop or something but you can save your images you can also keep your images inside the docker registries or docker hub right so here what you can do is when you are exist uh, you when you are exited from your container that where you have uh, done all your work now what you can do is just uh, when you run docker psa command so you can see your stopped container or your exist uh, exited container right so you will see your name of your container let's say here you have specified a name or something or if you have not specified any name for your container you will see a container id right you will see a container id there and using that container id you can commit your container as a new image right so what you can do you can just run docker commit command docker commit and your container here and after that you can specify your image name let's say you are saying like my ubuntu work or something right so this image now when you run this command this image will be built and you can use your image and then you can also push your image to anything right now if you run your again a new container from this image from this my ubuntu work image if you run a new container like using docker run or something and if you will go inside the terminal of the container so if you check out your container directory so you will see this file which you have created in inside your last container right because you have saved your work using commit inside an image right so using docker commit you can create a docker image from an existing container so now let's see how we can run this command and how we can build our images from an existing container so now i am inside my terminal and uh, let me run the docker images command so let's see what images we have now so i don't have any image for now but let's say let's pull ubuntu image here right so i am running docker pull ubuntu command if you don't want to run it you can you can directly run the docker run command so it will also download the same automatically right so let it download the image so now it has downloaded now if you run docker images so you will see your ubuntu images here now what i want to run i will run docker run it and now i will say ubuntu ubuntu is my image i want to run a container 
in interactive mode from ubuntu image and i will name it let's say my ubuntu container and i will open shell here okay it is saying name executable file not found let me run the command what command we will run we will run docker run and in a interactive mode and i will add name here let's say name will be my ubuntu container right now i will say it flag because i want to open my container i want to run my container in an interactive mode now i will specify the image name ubuntu and i add sh here so now i am inside a container here so yeah if you ls here you can see i am inside a container if i create a directory let's say mkdir work and i will go to this directory here i'll see there is no file i will create a new file new.js or something right and if i check it file this is empty let me add something to this file so i will run apt update as well here now what i need to run is let's say i have this new.js file this file is completely empty so it doesn't have any vim editor let me install vim so now i have vim editor here i will add this content hello docker container right let's say and let's save this right if i do check this file so you can see now this file has this line console log hello docker container right now let me exit from this container right now if i run docker ps so you will see there is no container that is running now but if i run docker psa so you can see this here there is a container that name is ubuntu and my ubuntu container right now what i want i want to run this i want to commit this container as an image so first of all let's run docker diff command for checking the difference between the base image and this container right so you can see this is a basically a lot of difference between this image this container and the base image right so now what i want is i want to commit a new image so first of all let me run docker images you can see there is no docker image uh, there is only one docker image that is ubuntu this is completely a uh, new image by ubuntu now i will run docker psa so you will see our container is here now i will build my image from this existing container that is my ubuntu container so i will say commit my ubuntu container to my ubuntu work image right so now it's saying your image is built now let me run docker images command so you can see this image is here my ubuntu work image now i will run a new con container from this image that i have built right now i am here inside if you i do ls i can see this work directory is here which we created i will go inside work i can see new.js if i check this file you can see the content is here inside this this file right so this is how you can work with docker commit and you can create your container your images from an existing docker container so thanks for tuning into my channel i hope you found the content valuable don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos thanks again and i will see you in the next video